Hello everybody! So, the other day I found this cool little dinosaur toy and I think it's supposed to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex, not really sure, but it got me thinking about the bite force of this extinct animal. And the bite force is, well, as the name implies, it's the amount of force an animal exerts, let's say pounds per square inch, when they bite down on something. For you and I, human beings, we can bite down with a force of anywhere between 70 to 200 pounds, which I know that sounds pretty impressive, but in the animal kingdom, not so much. There are literally birds out there that can bite harder than that. One of which is the hyacinth macaw. It is a parrot that lives in South America. What I have here is a model skull of a hyacinth macaw. They need a powerful bite force because they're often feeding on tree nuts, some of which are really hard to crack open. But it turns out they're up to the task. Hyacinth macaws have been recorded biting down with a force of about 400 pounds. So that's pretty impressive. When you think of bite forces though, a lot of times what jumps to mind are dogs, at least in my mind. I think, you know, oh, what kind of bite force does a dog have? Well, it turns out they're all over the scale. I mean, you've got poodles all the way up to Great Danes, so they're gonna have a wide range. But one very impressive one turns out to be the Rottweiler. This is a model skull of a Rottweiler, and Rottweilers can bite down with a force of about 328 pounds of pressure. So I won't be messing with one of these. But what about larger animals, things like some of the big cats, like lions and tigers? You would imagine they'd have a tremendous bite force, and they do. But it turns out it's one of the smaller of the big cats that, for its size, has the most impressive bite force. It turns out it's the jaguar. This is a model skull of a jaguar. Oftentimes, they are attacking crocodilians, which have armor-plated skin that they have to bite through. Well, the jaguar has a bite force that ranges anywhere between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds of force. So that is more than enough to get the job done. But back to our original animal, the Tyrannosaurus rex. Now, what we're gonna look at here is a model skull of an adult T. rex. Until recently, paleontologists didn't have a really good estimate for the bite force of an adult T. rex. But now, after careful study and comparison with animal bite forces that are alive today, paleontologists came up with a bite force that shocked even them. It came out to be about 8,000 pounds of force. What that meant was this was a bone-crushing dinosaur. They were like um, a giant reptilian hyena. And what they could do not only did they eat dinosaurs, that they would also bite through and crush and eat the bones. Why would they do that? Why bother? Well, it turns out that by eating the dinosaur and the bones, they were able to pull out more nutrition from every dinosaur that they ate. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.